don't think he supposed to say that on there. Welcome, guys. Um, today's topic is going to be unconscious victim removal. My name is Menahilo Gonzalez. I've been a paramedic EMT for 19 years. I worked for MDFR for uh, 14 years as a uh, lieutenant on rescue 26 in Opalaka. Uh, I got my cert in technical rescue technician. <clears throat> Um, like I stated before, I have uh, extensive uh, training by other officers from um, from firefighter survival and how to remove firefighters and unconscious victims from uh, from IDLH environment quickly and efficiently with uh, minimal equipment. So, we're right along. All right, intro. Today's presentation is based on how to remove an unconscious victim in three easy steps with minimal equipment. As I showed you prior uh, in the prior video, it's going to be with a, we're just going to use a piece of webbing with a knot. Okay. <clears throat> the setup very simple. We're going to orient our victim in the direction of travel. Okay, so if our door or our exit is to uh, one side of the room, we want our victim's head facing that side of the room. So as, as we approach our victim, we're gonna rotate our victim and orient him in the direction of travel, which way we're gonna get him out, okay, step one. Step two, we're gonna grab our webbing. Okay, I'll have it rolled up in my pocket with a knot folding out, so I just grab it, pull out my webbing, I got my knot in my hand, that's my reference point. I'm gonna reach underneath the victim's armpits, Pull the webbing through, tie my girth hitch, wrap it up around my hand a few times, and then I'm ready to uh, move. When I start moving the victim to the door, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna wrap the victim, and then I'm gonna use, I'll show you in the next slide. Okay, like it says here, wrapping the victim. Utilize the webbing in hand, wrap the webbing around the victim's chest while passing the knot under the victim's arms. Cinch the webbing down tight uh, on the chest and tie your knot. Okay, grab the webbing firmly with both hands. Removing the victim, using proper lifting techniques. Okay, this is very important so we don't injure our backs and um, we can have a, a safe and efficient removal of the victim. All right, we're gonna begin removing the victim. Use your partner to help guide you out. Okay, so proper lifting techniques, what it means by is keep the victim close to your body, lift with your legs, okay? As you're doing that, one guy's working. The next slide, begin removing, removing the victim. You're gonna start working and your partner's gonna be behind you since you have your back to the doorway. Your partner's gonna be behind you, guiding you to the door, okay? So you don't trip, fall, okay? He'll guide you around corners and get you to the, the nearest exit. Challenges ahead, okay? An unconscious victim has no muscle tone, okay? so. We think, oh, we're just gonna go grab them by the hands uh, and pull them, there's no muscle tone. We're, our hands are gonna slip, okay? We have our, our, our fire gloves on, our equipment on, our dexterity is gonna be very uh, impeded, okay? Uh, heavy patience, it's another one. We're not just gonna grab somebody and pull them out. If it's in the middle of the night and he's sleeping with just a pair of boxers on, there's no clothes that we're gonna grab onto, okay? Skin to skin contact. Our, uh, our grandmas with our nightgown, their nightgowns, it's not strong enough to hold them, uh, so we're going to be just grabbing and dragging them out of the house, okay? So I'll recap on what, uh, what, uh, what we're talking about. Okay, set up. Remember, orient your patient. Wrap the victim, okay? Remember the technique underneath the, the armpits. Wrap your girth hitch, okay? And removing the patient using your partner as your guide as you uh, remove the patient to, the, um, to a safer environment. Anybody have any questions? No, sir. Okay, that concludes our presentation. Okay, we have the props outside. We'll all go outside in, in a minute, and we'll uh, we'll go over the technique.